Hey everybody, Josh Nakazawa here. I would just like to take a moment to recognize one of my online cello students who just finished learning how to play the cello all by herself with my program Zero to Bach in four months. Her name is Sue Cowing, and she just finished a few weeks ago with Flying Colors. She is an accomplished writer of poetry and fiction, mainly for young readers, and you might already know her from her books, Fire in the Sea, an anthology of poetry and art, my Dog Has Fleas, Poetry for Hawaii's Kids, You Will Call Me Drog, and The Octopus of Imagination. I reached out to see if she might Zoom with me to tell me about her experience learning, uh, how to play the cello all by herself with the program, and she agreed to chat and even let me record a bit of her playing. I just may Maybe I could just ask a few questions about um, your background and uh, how you enjoy the program. Um, things you liked or didn't like about it, total honesty is the best. Um, yeah, so did you have uh, any prior background in playing the cello before starting the program? Yes, I did. I, I tried to play cello years ago and I got uh, quite discouraged. I, I felt like I needed to practice a couple of hours a day to get anywhere and I was uh, I had other things that I really wanted to do too, so I eventually just stopped practicing years and years ago. Wow. And then when I tried to take it up again, I had actually forgotten how to read best cl bass clef. I thought it would be like riding a bicycle, but it, it wasn't. And so wow. when I heard about this program, I thought, okay, I'll start from the very beginning and elimin eliminate my old habits and really learn how to do things bit by bit. And that's what's been so exciting about the program. Awesome. How did you find, uh, how much did you end up practicing kind of each day? Did you do it like every single day or was it kind of intermittent throughout the week? Um, yeah, why don't you tell me about kind of your process uh, or your experience I, with the program or relationship with it? I practiced, I practiced every day. Um, but I can't practice for long because my I have a, a, a problem with my thumb joint. So it's like about a half an hour. So that's why I needed it, to do it every day. And, you know, your, your lessons go day, day, day. And I took several days on many lessons. Okay. I, so I sure didn't do it in four months. But uh, mm -hmm. I took as long as I wanted until I felt secure about each one. Absolutely, and that's what you're you're meant to do. Um, it's all about because like each each one has like a very fundamental idea that once you get really good at it, then you're ready to go on to the next one. Um, so that's perfect. Actually, how long did it even? How long has it been since? So I would say that's like it. last week was actually the one where you where you said like okay, I finished it. I remember. So um, yeah, it, but yeah, how long has, did it actually take to do the whole thing? How many months was that? April. April. Since April. Oh, nine months. Nine months. Okay, so it took nine months to complete it. That's still pretty. That's still pretty darn good for for learning Bach from pretty much scratch. Did you end up using any other guidance or like teachers or anything like that? Were there any other tutorials that helped out, or were you mostly just kind of doing everything that was inside of the program? I was mostly doing the program. I do, you know, whenever you listen to something cello on on YouTube other things come in and I saw some other things, but uh, this was this was basically it. And uh, so. Wow, awesome. I loved the whole idea of, you know, making practice fun by going to the various scenes outdoors. When I read about this in the paper and I read the title of the program, I thought, yes, it took me about five minutes to decide to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a cello. But I think I told you before, my cello had uh, been traumatized by uh, flash flood and damaged. And so I had to go see if it would work. And it couldn't be repaired, but it can be played as it is. Uh, and so even though it has a, a, a seam separation, miraculously that doesn't cause a rattle. So I can go ahead and play. And I can't turn the pegs, but I have tuners on all four strings. So as long as my cello lasts, I'm good. I love this little cello, so. Thank you. 
Outside of Bach, have you found it helpful to learn other pieces that you're working on now, or um, if you are, what what pieces are you working on now? Well, you know, one of the reasons I want to play is I want to be able to play rather than just sing or hear certain melodies that I really love, and so I turn to the the two themes from uh, Cinema Paradiso by Morricone. And I've been working on those. And yes, I did find that what I'd learned about shifting and so on uh, really applied. And uh, I was, I felt able to do that. I, I, you know, this, this class, this, this course makes things seem doable. And that's really wonderful. And uh, the other big lesson I got was the last time you and I had a lesson and I was dreading it because I didn't feel like I'd made very much progress. And I was stunned by your response. You could see through all the mistakes and see that, that I had made progress. And it told me that the, the story we tell ourselves about how not good enough we are really distorts reality and really limits us. And so that's, that was a big lesson from that lesson. And uh, I'm trying to just let it be, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much, Sue, for meeting with me. And if you are a cello student or want to learn how to play cello, stay tuned for a trailer of Zero to Bach in four months to see if it might be a great fit for you as well. Aloha, I'm Josh Nakazawa, and welcome to my video teaching series, Zero to Bach in four months. We start our journey here in the historic Hawaii Theater, my current home with the Hawaii Symphony Orchestra. Over the next four months, I will give you daily exercises, each one staged in a new and beautiful location in Hawaii. The lessons are designed to be very easy to follow as each one is streamlined with a focused goal. Up close video angles and pictures that aid visual learning are presented at optimal times within the exercises and all of the printed music is provided for you, displayed for your convenience in the video. So all you have to do is take out your cello and turn on a video. The course is designed to be for all ages and cater to every learning style while making Hawaiian landscape your office for just 15 to 45 minutes a day. Even if you decide to do a lesson every other day or every three days, you can still complete the course in just eight to 12 months and from there, you will have acquired the skills to learn and play new music all on your own. The course will cover cello anatomy, how to tune and hold your cello, reading music in the bass clef, counting in several different meters, left hand fingering techniques and right hand bow techniques, shifting to second, third, and fourth position, techniques for shifting accuracy, music notations such as dynamics, slurs, and articulations, bow planning and usage, warm-up exercises specifically designed to prepare you for playing Bach, and finally, a step-by-step -step breakdown of each phrase for the entire prelude of Bach Suite Number 1. Listening to the piece is a vital part of learning as it helps you memorize and internalize the music, and each intro will play a portion of the prelude with aerial footage of our daily location to set the stage of our learning environment. Let's hop right into the anatomy of the cello.